what's going on guys, it's Cynical and we are back on Kingdom Hearts 2.5. What a throwback. That was more of a throw forward. Anyway guys, today for you I'm bringing you a guide as to how to actually literally fuck this guy up. Not even joking. Now this is actually a strategy that uh, has been around the Kingdom Hearts community towards how to actually easily defeat the Lingering Will. Um, it's been around for like some time now and I thought I'd actually just show you guys the strategy here today in this guide video. Um, now this strategy has been known as kind of a cheese and sort of an exploit as to you know easily destroying the Lingering Will. So, I would say that like if you haven't already legitimately defeated the Lingering Will, then uh, you might want to do that first. And you can just use this for fun. This is also a kind of semi want alright way of also farming some Manifest Illusion too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool as well. Alright, so first of all, let's look at the items that you'll need Sora equipped with. So in terms of the Keyblade, you absolutely must have the Fenra. It is really the only way to do this strategy, and the reason behind that is the Fenra comes with a negative combo ability, which is absolutely a must-have uh, when it comes to using this strategy. So yes, you must defeat Sephiroth before um, being able to perform the strategy on the Lingering Will. He's not too hard, so once you get the Fenra, equip that bad boy. Now in terms of the uh, the kind of accessories and like the armor and stuff, um, you don't really need anything too specific. Kind of focus on getting sort of strength enhancing items and whatnot. What I would recommend you guys to have is to uh, try and get those full bloom pluses. They are absolutely fantastic items that uh, really do boost your strength and they've got a fantastic MP recharge rate bonus on top of that. Otherwise though, in terms of items, uh, try get a set out that sort of looks like this. If you've already got one set up, not really too much of a big deal, but what you absolutely must have is the Fenra. Alright guys, now let's jump into the ability setup. So this is extremely important. Now what you should do is you should, at this point of the video, just basically look through my abilities and look at what I have equipped and not equipped. Um, now, when it comes down to it, what you're going to want to absolutely make sure of is that you don't have any aerial finishes, as well as that make sure you have the negative combo ability. This is very important, but like I was saying, just go through this section of the video and make sure that you unequip the abilities that I have unequipped. You'll also want to change a few things up to do with Donald and Goofy as well. Just make sure that most of their offensive abilities are switched off as you don't really want Donald and Goofy interrupting you while you perform the technique itself. Also in terms of Donald's abilities, just make sure that you have auto limit on with Donald as well as the Fantasia limit activated. Alright guys, so you're all set up towards performing this strategy. So what you want to do is, of course, head to the Lingering Will fight. Now as soon as the fight commences, lock on to the Lingering Will and make sure you activate Donald's um, Comet. Uh, of course, with Auto Limit turned on, it'll just pop up straight away as soon as you lock on to the Lingering Will. So you just want to basically press R1 and Triangle as soon as the fight starts. Now he's going to do some moves, they are random, um, but whatever moves they are, just make sure that uh, you press triangle every so often to make sure that Donald, you know, keeps up his comments that the gauge doesn't completely deplete. Now once he's finished performing his moves, he'll then become vulnerable and um, you'll actually end up like getting Donald to use one of his Comet uh, attacks on the Lingering Wheel and he'll kind of get thrown up into the air. Now as soon as you see the Lingering Wheel get thrown up into the air, simply you want to just jump and smack. Jump and smack, jump and smack. Like, I'm, I'm not playing around right now, literally that's what you're gonna do. And that is actually it. So as you guys can see on screen, I am just jumping and doing an aerial finisher, jumping and doing an aerial finisher, etc, etc, etc. And this is what we call the cheese way towards defeating the Lingering Will. Yes, this is kind of like a cheat exploit thing, um, but then again, it still is a strategy. It's not like we're using any hacks or cheat codes or anything like sort of fancy like that. No, this is an actual strategy that is in the actual game, which is very interesting. But um, 
yeah, that's pretty much all you do, guys. You just jump and smack him, jump and smack him, and uh, just keep doing that until he dies. Now, uh, a couple of things that you guys should note is if the Lingering Will uh, gets pushed towards one of the walls or the rocks in the area, he will retaliate and smack you and most likely kill you. So just be um, sort of wary about that. You can actually direct him towards where he goes. Uh, you'll notice in this video, I actually just kind of trained him in a circle. Uh, and you can just do that by slightly kind of flicking the analog stick when I hit the ground just before I jump up again to do another finisher hit on him. But uh, otherwise, guys, that's really uh, about it. Um, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but this strategy has been around for quite a long time now. So I thought I'd just get it here on my channel. However, guys, that's all for today's video. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.